Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let's Play the uh, Ocarina of Time. I'm partner here, Umbreon Messiah, and I'm gonna try not to talk like that because it'll probably annoy the hell out of everyone. Anyway, in here we have Captain Sleeps a Lot, who I'm trying so desperately not to talk to just yet. Some of you are going to cry foul about what I'm doing. Ha 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 ha. But, uh, I personally just don't give a damn. I hate this minigame. I will hate it forever, and if I could stop failing at throwing away these chickens, it would go a lot simpler. Christ, those things are loud. I, I, I think I've explained how, you know, my volume is quite turned up so that you guys can hear the music and everything. Needless to say, that kind of hurts the ears. I don't know when I discovered this little trick. It's not much of a trick, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F well, at least you're the first guy not calling me fairy boy. Let me tell you, that was annoying. A little game, he says. You know, I love how he calls them super cuckoos, but they don't look any different at all. Hey, that one got free. You cheeky bum. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's still going to be really easy to get them. Whee! Get over here! Yeah, you know what? Say what you want. I hate this minigame. Trying to find them in that mess of actual cuckoos is too annoying for me. I do? All I did was pick up chickens. G God, no! I'm 10, so yeah, probably. Well, more importantly, this minigame is just, you know, to get our first bottle. Da -da -da! Oh, thank God I could skip that now. Those reminders were getting really irritating. And if we go out here... Oh, first of all... No, no, it's right there. Just gonna put that there. Ow! Oh, she has a wonderful voice, doesn't she? Really, people have got to stop calling me that. Yes, I saw the princess. Wouldn't it be nice to be that carefree? Stop calling me that! It's not like I call you horse girl. That might hurt your feelings. Whoops, wasn't supposed to do that yet. Huh. I seem to be missing something important here. That or the game is just being grumpy. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I am. I love how she pronounces those C-stick movements. Hooray! The most useful song ever! You've learned a Pona song! And that will come in... Oh god, my stalker is here! I'm very scared now. No, no, leave me alone, horsey. Leave me alone! 
Oh god, she's chasing me! Alright, well, anyway. Let's see. I believe we have one last thing to do here. Oh god, don't run me over, please. And it's in this place all the way back here. Please shut up, Navi. I don't have time nor the resources to deal with you right now. God, those cows are loud. Okay. Push you there. And you go there. There is a reason for this. And da and a nice pull. We, I fit in this crevice. There we go. Climb up here, and there is a small little tunnel back here. Which we can go in to get our first heart piece. this uh, bottle of milk and if I can get back in this tunnel now I don't know how many people actually know this and I'm probably going to look like an idiot for it but Epona song does two things one eventually it'll call a horse to us and it makes that horse like us a lot I, I don't know if you want to read too much into that or not the other thing it does if I can just get this cow to pay attention to me. Stupid sea stick, one second. There we go. It makes the cows very, very grateful. And they give me milk. I don't know how or why the cow is talking, and I don't want to know how Link knows how to milk a cow. Well, now that we've done that, we've pretty much accomplished everything we can accomplish here right now, at least during the daytime. Our next stop is not, however, Death Mountain or Kakarika Village. If you actually listen to Navi, which I don't, our next stop should actually be the Kokiri Forest again. My, we're going in wonderful circles, aren't we? It seems it might be, you know, at least a decent thing to do to talk to... Shut up, fairy. To talk to Soraya before, you know, we go off and do anything really cool. And hey, look, it's another gold sculptula. Die, motherfucker! <laughs> there we go. Well, let's see if I can actually get back to the Kokiri Forest in this amount of time. You know what? Screw it. I don't want to let you people watch me running across the damn world. I'm going to cut to there. Quick! They're chasing me! Ah! Stupid skeletons! Anyway, this brings us back to the Kokiri Forest at actually a pretty good time. The... One of the... The caveats to collecting gold sculptures, if you've never actually played the game, is that except for a, a, a few of them, they only come out at night. So you kind of have to get creative if you want to get them. That's really all there is to it. I think there's another one in here somewhere. I could be wrong, and I probably am. Navi, shut up! Actually, I think there is, but I don't think I can get it yet. So, I'm not going to bother. Anyway, I'm also not going to bother talking to these people, because I already know where Soraya is. Hey, that's a blue rupee. She's hanging out in her little secret spot in the uh, Lost Woods. So, we have to go find her if we want to talk to her. And Link being Link, well, what are you going to do, right? But there's also a lot of crazy things to do do in the Lost Woods before we get to Soraya. 
Unfortunately, we don't have time for that right now because we're pretty much out of time. So, next time on Let's Play the Ocarina of Time, we're going to, you know, do the Lost Woods. It should be fun. Stick around.